Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I made a gas that's black. Ever since I was younger, I've always been intrigued by things that are transparent to visible light. There's something there, you can feel it, you can touch it, but you can't see it. For example, the air is all around us and we can feel it when we wave our hands, but we can't see it, the light just passes right through it. But what if the air wasn't transparent? What if it was opaque and it absorbed the light instead of let it pass through? So it's pretty easy to make the air look transparent by putting a bunch of particles in it. That's what smoke is. For example, I can use this fog machine here and what it's doing is just condensing a lot of tiny little droplets in the air and it looks like it's opaque. You can't see through it very well. But you didn't really turn the air opaque. What you did is put a bunch of little particles that's kind of diffusing the light. That's why it looks white. So even if you fill a room with black smoke, the black smoke is the thing that's absorbing the light. So there's tiny little droplets in the air. It's not actually a gas, it's tiny droplets and particles in the air. So is there a gas that actually absorbs some light? Well, there are some types of gases that are colored but also transparent. What that means is that they only absorb a specific frequency of light. So they have a color, but they're clear. One example of this is nitrogen dioxide. In order for this to work, I need some copper. So I'm just gonna use some copper wiring here. Okay, so I have my copper at the bottom here. Then we're gonna add some nitric acid to it. When you pour nitric acid on copper, it forms something called nitrogen dioxide. It's just a nitrogen bonded to two oxygen atoms. Now this is a toxic gas, so you don't wanna be breathing this. So I'm gonna do it in my fume hood here. So this may look like a type of smoke coming off of this, just like I lit a smoke bomb or something, but this isn't a smoke at all. These aren't tiny little droplets or particles of a larger molecule. They're actually a gas. The reason the nitrogen dioxide looks this orangish brown color is because it's absorbing blue light very strongly. So nitrogen dioxide absorbs light right around the 460 nanometer range. So what I'm going to do is just illuminate my room with light that's at that one specific frequency. So I need a monochromatic light source. So I can't just use something like a blue LED or something because this LED has a broad spectrum. It's not actually just blue light it's letting out. It's mostly blue light. But what I want to make this effect the strongest is a single monochromatic light source. And the best way to do that is just use laser light. So this laser light emits one specific frequency of light in the 460 nanometer range. Before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Marvel Strike Force. If you love Marvel and all the movies coming out, you're gonna love this game because it feels like you're in a movie. Marvel Strike Force is a squad-based RPG where you can fight alongside your favorite Marvel heroes and villains. There are over 180 characters to choose from in a fight to save the Earth. So you battle your way through arena raids and alliance wars and earn characters, shards, resources, and equipment to assemble your dream Marvel team. As you build your roster and progress through the game, don't forget to check out the costume store to finish off your enemies in style. And also don't forget to check out each character's costumes to switch things up in the heat of battle. You can log in and play through in-game events for new character releases, holiday events, and MCU themed campaigns. Marvel Strike Force is available for free on iOS and Android. You can download now using my link below and join the fight. So now let's do the same experiment again, but instead of using regular light, we're going to use only blue light to illuminate this. Whoa, this is so cool. So it's actually absorbing the light. This is not smoke in any way. This is a real gas, just one of the states of matter. Not a solid, not a liquid, but a gas that actually absorbs the light. And look how strongly it absorbs it. You can see that in the regular light, it looks just kind of this orangish color, but it's completely transparent to the background. But when I turn off the lights and only have the blue light source, it completely blocks it from the back. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. 
and check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel that I have that's similar to this one, but I do my videos in less than a minute. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.